showtime. So that's what it says. It's showtime. <laughs> Ah, great evening. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, girls night. That's right. And I'm. I didn't bring a little drink tonight. I did not. I said it was day night. I just got my water. What you got? <laughs> hey. It is. It's girls night in. Woo date night prep. I can't get my head <laughs> my face. Okay. Trying something new. Trying to be blondes have more fun. So I'm trying to have some more fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yes, I see that. <laughs> I can't do see that, honey. You rocking that blonde tonight. Go ahead with your bad self. Try and try and try. And. <laughs> so did you see the event to your page? I look like you did. And I didn't. I got sidetracked. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Share it to your page. We wait for a few minutes. See who hops on. Uh oh. I got too much going on. I think I had turned the volume down. Let's see. All right. There we go. Great evening, everybody. Hey, 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 everybody. Us. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Girls Night In, the chocolate covered strawberries edition. Yes. <laughs> we want to share with you tonight about getting date night ready, even in the pandemic. Nothing wrong with having a little date night, right? Nope, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> That's right. So my name is Tracy. My name is Tracy Fisher. I'm an independent sales director with Mary Kay. If you're new to joining us, welcome to Girls Night In. And joining me tonight, I have the beautiful Tashana. Introduce yourself, honey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Tashana Granby, all the way from Ditcher Heights, Maryland. And I'm also an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. And welcome to Girls Night In. Yes, welcome to Girls Night In. All right. So tonight we're going to be talking all about... Um, looks, color looks that uh, are inspired by chocolate covered strawberries. So we welcome you to Girls Night In tonight. If this is your first time with us and you haven't given StreamYard permission to show your name on Facebook, make sure you use the link that's showing there below to go to StreamYard and let them um, know that you have permission to show your name on our comments. So um, that's what we want to know because we want to know who's joining us. We want to welcome you to the party. Thank you for being here. Um, we like to get together with these events most Saturday nights at the same time. You can find mm -hmm. us here on mm -hmm. YouTube and Facebook talking about skin and makeup and all kinds of little stuff. So our goal is only to just bring you joy. Um, that's what it is. Y'all know we've been in this, uh, this pandemic for um, almost a full year now. Mm -hmm. I can remember the day like to the date. It's like one of those things that you remember when they said, pew, we're going to be on lockdown. <laughs> right? Right, 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 right. right. Um, I can remember that. Like, that was, yes. How would you not it was like, no, not tomorrow. He was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it went from two weeks to then he was like, oh, we about to be here for the long <laughs> Right. Two weeks to a month. And then it was just seems like it, it hasn't quite come to an end yet but nope. hopefully we see a light at the end of the tunnel yeah um with this and um we are going to continue doing this it'll probably still continue even after we are no longer um committed to being home being home and being safer at home right but uh, we want to know if you brought a drink with you tonight if you brought a drink with you you can drop a little drink emoji in the comments or let us know that you're here and that's how we um know that we are that you're out there enjoying our um, our event. Hi, Anne. Thanks for joining Hi, us. Anne. Yep, we're so glad you're here. Um, is by your comments. We need to know that you're out there 
by your comments. And those comments get you entered into our drawing, our giveaways tonight for our little goodie bags and our little treats from your uh, independent beauty consultant. And so um, give a shout out to the person that invited you right in the comments. Hi, I'm a guest of so-and-so. So-and-so invited me. So that, that way we know that you're there. And if you were invited by a friend, we want to know that too, because they are going to get a gift as well for inviting you um, to join us. So your comments, as I mentioned, gift, gift, gift get to the giveaways. And so your consultant is going to give you some good stuff for joining her tonight and um, just sharing, you know, just sharing with us your, your comments and how you're liking things. So we always want to remind people to download the Mary Kay Skin Analyzer app because that's what we do. We teach skincare. We teach you how to take care of your skin and how to get that glowing, youthful appearance and keep it right? And keep right. That, that good look. So our Mary Kay Skin Analyzer app allows us to analyze your skin um, against some profiles and lets us be able to help you figure out what products in our product line are going to work best for your particular skin type and your skin issues if you have any. So mm -hmm. we want you to add a shopping bag to the comment section if we go over something tonight that you like. And um, we want to know um, that by you putting in the comments that you want something. So you can just add a shopping bag or you can add the name of the product. Hey, Steph. Hey, 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 Steph. Glad to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, so be sure to add your comment in the uh, and type I want it or just let us know. That so that your consultant will know if she's watching the replay or if she's not on tonight, so that she will know to get with you about um, the products tonight. All right. So, hey, Rita, thanks for joining us. So glad you're here. All right. Well, let's talk about what it is we're going to be doing. Well, first of all, I mentioned we're doing chocolate inspired looks tonight. And um, Tashana's going to be modeling something in the pink family, and I'm going to model something like in the in the nudes and the brown families to, and a little bit of the pinks as well. So I don't know about you, but I love um, pinks and browns. They're just they're fun. Mm -hmm. You know, they're fun colors together. A lot of times people don't think of putting those two colors together. Um, last week we did uh, red, red lips and um Tonight, we want to do pinks and brown. So we thank you for being here. And I'm just going to share my screen a little bit. I don't have much to share tonight. Normally, I have. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all an education on whatever it is that, that we're talking about. But <laughs> that's not going to be the case tonight. We're going to be doing, <laughs> doing, a little, doing a little color. So this is the color that we're uh, kind of looking at. I don't think. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this is the color that we're going to be doing. Well, one of the looks. I'm going to model this look right here. Your chocolates, your pinks, your nudes, um, and your soft colors. And I would love to know from you in the chat, what do you like? Chocolates or pinks? Chocolates or roses? Or both? If you had your way, you know, we're still celebrating Valentine's Day this month, the month of love. We got one more day of the month. What would be your, your go-to? Would you prefer chocolates? Or would you prefer roses? Or would you prefer both? Let us know in the chat. Come on, drop it in there. And so this kind of color palette that you see here has our chocolate and nude colors and then our pinks and mauves and roses. What about you, Tishana? What do you prefer? Chocolate? I'm a both, I'm a both kind of girl. I'm a both kind of girl today. <laughs> I'm a both yeah. kind of, I want a little Me chocolate too. and I want some flowers because I want to smell my flowers while I'm here. But I'm right. also greedy and I want to eat some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. But I love this color palette. And um, just so that you guys know, you can build a color palette just like that. Um, I'm holding up the little compact here so that you can see what this looks like. This is our, um, what is this compact called? That's the, uh, petite petite compact? Compact? Is it the petite? No, this is the petite. No, petite. Oh, that's no, that's not the pro. It's the in between one. It's, the, it's I think it's just the custom that's color the palette. Yeah, color palette. And so, um, all of our the beauty of our our compacts is that they're all magnetic. Isn't that neat? And so, mm -hmm. when you buy it, you only need to buy it once. Um, 
You know, a lot of times you buy colors in the store and once you run out of the little color, you got to just toss the whole thing, right? But with our collection, um, the containers are magnetic. And so you just drop your colors in there and customize it the way that you like, whether cheeks or eyes or powders. And so the compacts are extremely versatile. Get excited. Mm -hmm. So if you um, like this palette, make sure that you mention custom palette to your consultant to let her know that you um, would like to fill this up with some of the colors that we're going to go through tonight. And then we also have a smaller palette that is our petite palette, and it has room for four colors in there. So you could do um, a cheek color or a bronzer or something that's one in one of more of our narrow packages, or you could add four eye colors in there. Isn't that great? And then you can also, as you build your collection, you could go bam, bam, have our Compact Pro. Yes, our custom Compact Pro, which allows you to just have it all in one place. Yes. And this is just um, my eye color collection. I have one for eyes, and I personally have one for cheeks that I use for demoing. And then my ones that are upstairs I, in my bathroom, I did not bring down today. But you can see that this one has a collection of our um, cheek colors as well as our contours which are beautiful to work with. You can work with them as cheek colors, you can work with them as eye colors, um, or you can work with them as contours. So think about that. You could build a compact that's got your powder in it, that's got your um, your cheeks, your eyes, and just your whole little collection. I have one of these in my work bag. I sure do, because you always got to be ever ready, right? I have <laughs> my brushes and I have a color compact with me at all times. Mm. <laughs> it's called <laughs> being ready. <laughs> I'm going to learn that lesson. It does, <laughs> yes. Always ready. So if you are one of our customers, we hope you received your lookbook in the mail. So you might want to grab it if you don't have it with you, because we're going to be talking about some of the colors that are in the back of the book there. And you might want to circle them so that you know um, what colors you want to tell your consultant that you'd be interested in getting. So let's play a little this or that. So as we go on, we want to know which do you like better? This, which is the True Dimension Sienna Brulee. It's kind of a soft brownish kind of color. Or do you like that, which is the Chocolat? Chocolate, um, True Dimensions color. Which do you like, this or that? What about you? That, I'm a that girl. I like the dark You're chocolate. The, you like the dark, the chocolate, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. our one of our chocolate colors. Um, it is, the True Dimensions collection is a shimmery type of, not, not shimmery, what do I want to say? Shiny, I guess, yeah, shiny. shiny. True, more glossy. Yeah, true to color. Glossy. Yeah, true uh, glossy lip color so thicker than a lip gloss mm -hmm. um and it's not matte it does give you some shine so if you're a, a woman that likes um shine on your lip color then you would like this particular line so think about that as you're going along and then how about this we did the reds oh. last week but are you a stiletto kind of a girl or a poppy please i like the that that's for me that i'm a that, uh, poppy I love you some red stiletto you love the red stiletto? Yes, I, I'm a that. Give me that. Um, that poppy, please, is my color. I get so many compliments when I when I wear that orangey red color. Hmm. Yep. And then last one in the pink family. Oh. Which do you like? Oh. This or that? So this is just two of our pinks. You know, we've got some other shades, but mm. we've got that beautiful trademark pink, which I love, that one at the top. And then we've got the powerful pink, the one at the bottom. This or that for you? Which is it? This or that? Well, Let tonight us... is going to be that because that is the color that goes along with my makeup look. So powerful pink okay. for me. That's what you're wearing tonight. That's what you're going to yeah. be modeling tonight. Powerful pink. Yeah. Nice. Nice to know. Nice to know. All right. So these are the eye colors that we're going to be sharing um, a bit about. Some goals, uh, rose gold, dusty rose, golden mauve, merlot. And then you've got your nudes up top there. Um, and so you might want to write some of these down so that um, they come back to remembrance when we start working with the colors. And then I also have in my hand here, our wonderful liquid eye color collection. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Do you use these Tashana? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. So I love these. They're liquid, but they dry to a powdery finish. 
Um, so I'm going to put this on the coming four colors. So you've got your meteor, which is kind of like a taupey color, uh, a grayish taupe, like a granite. You've got light beam, which is really good as a base because mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a lighter color. Starlet pink, which I will probably wear tonight. And then you've got um, this uh, purple nova. Purple Nova. Yeah, really, really nice. So I'm going to take this um, light beam and put it on the back of my hand just so you can see here um, what that would look like. You can see it's a liquid. Well, it went on kind of liquidy. And then as you blend it in, it's going to give you a little shimmer. It's good for um, as a good base. You know, you can use it as a base all over the lid to help set your color. Um, isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Pretty, I like pretty that color. color. Mm -hmm. And this color is called Light Beam. Light Beam. Yep. And they retail for $14. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm going to pull out the pink starlet to add to what I'm going to sample tonight. And so, Tashana, tell us what colors you're going to be using that's I'm here on this be using In the, uh, the chroma infusion, I'm going to be using a, a matte, which is a dusty rose. Mm hmm. I'm going to use um, candlelight, which okay. is the shimmer, mm -hmm. and um, two other colors. Frozen iris, which is one of my favorites. I love that purple color. Mm -hmm. And crystalline as a highlight color. Okay, great. Great, great, great. And I am going to be using, um, <laughs> let me find my palette. I'm going to use, um, so in the beauty of having a collection is sometimes you start with one color and then you end up with another color. <laughs> so I'm going to use the um, the pink starlight, light, pink starlight as a base. And then I'm going to also use, um, did you say you were using rose gold or mauve? Neither one. No. Gold and mauve. Dusty oh, rose. Uh-uh. Okay. No, I don't have any gold and mauve tonight. Nope. Okay. I'm going to use... Um, rose gold okay. on top of that starlight okay then i'm going to use um one of the browns the hot fudge mm -hmm. um and then i will probably put a little hazelnut in there as well and then um one in truffle those will probably be the colors i use today mm -hmm. so it's kind of a pink base moving into the chocolates OK, mm. and so you, when you're doing your looks, you could obviously just stick with just the um, colors on the top. If you want a uh, top of the diagram there, if you were looking for just something in the in the nude chocolate collection, um, that biscotti and candlelight and um, crystalline and moonstone and then the hot fudge and the espresso right in there with the one of the mahogany or cinnabar. Um, or mm -hmm. you could stick kind of in the middle collection here with the golds and the rose mauve kind of colors. All right. Absolutely. Nice, nice. Yeah. So I dropped a couple, I, um, a fly, uh, excuse me, dropped an image in here to kind of see what the colors will kind of flow like together, as I mentioned. So mm -hmm. that in the picture is hazelnut, um, Burnished bronze and um, that's not rustic. What is that? I think that's moonstone mm -hmm. at the end there. Yeah. And so then at the middle, you see gold shimmer, hazelnut, cinnabar, and hot fudge. So if you mm -hmm. were to build a color palette, you had those four colors. You could do a lot with those, just those four colors. And if you are um, someone that likes a, a little darker look and you didn't want to do the hot fudge, you could do the onyx in exchange for that if you were. Um, on the uh, more melanin popping end of the spectrum, you could darken up the uh, hot fudge with the onyx. Um, and that would give you some more options with your color combinations there. All right. And this is the look that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And yes. that's the dusty rose, the candlelight, the iris. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do a combination of something like this with the... Um, like I said, the rose, the rose gold, um, the, this is, has golden mauve in this picture here. Um, but it's going to be a combination. Looks something a little similar to this blend together with those colors. All right. So we are going to get to it, my dear. 
Alrighty. And before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, do a drawing. Let's see, we've got some more right. comments here. Uh, we got some this is and some that's and some this and some that's and that's great oh, to right, see. All right, all right. Yes, yes. And Deborah says she likes the chocolates. And um, so both of us are bareface, right? Yeah. Is that correct. So as I prepare bare, bare, bare. for your names here, why don't you tell us what your regular skincare regimen is okay. um, that gets you to where we have this beautiful skin to be able to uh, to add these colors? So tell us what you're using. All right. Well, I use the Timewise 3D set. Um, they come in combination oily and normal to dry. I use a combination of both of them, just depending on how I feel when I get to go and wash my face. Right. Um, and then I followed up with my my nighttime moisturizer and my eye cream. And I'm also this is my third week using the clinical solution set. So I'm still at excited and moving on with that. So I'm nice. pushing forward. So my glowing skin is a combination of TimeWise 3D and my clinical solutions. Wonderful. So for those people that don't know, um, would you mind sharing what the clinical solutions is? Okay. Well, I'm going to give that my best shot. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be very detailed. You don't have to be too detailed with okay. it. Well, it is a two. It is a two part system, and it comes with. It is a pure retinol uh, solution in zero point five, and it comes with a calming milk solution. And it is a eight week retinization process that you will do to your face to get your skin used to using pure retinol. Very good. 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 That's a great, that was a great explanation. See, <laughs> you did just fine. Yes. No. And so what I use on my skin is I use um, a combination of the TimeWise 3D and the TimeWise Repair. Um, so most of the times it depends on whichever I just grab in the, in the, uh, in the drawer when I reach <laughs> out. Like, oh, which one am I going to use today? But um, since I've been also... Um, introducing the clinical solutions to my skincare regimen, I have pretty much tried to stick to just using the TimeWise Repair. So I've been using the foaming cleanser morning and night. I've been using the day cream with sunscreen um, in the, during the day and then the night cream, which has a uh, encapsulated retinol in it as well at night mm -hmm. and the eye cream along with that. Um, I also use the pore minimizer um, twice a day because I have oily skin and I have large pores here on my cheek area. So I've been using that as well. And the amazing advanced lifting serum. Oh my gosh. And um, I have noticed with using, introducing the uh, clinical solutions that my, the texture of my skin is smoother. Um, it's softer. It really right. is. In fact, um, I was telling, I think last week I may have said this, or maybe it was at my meeting on Monday. I sold a set just from someone seeing my skin. She looked at my skin and she said, what are you? She said, marriage must be agreeing with you. I said, no, honey, that's my clinical solutions. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, sure like, did. I like rubbing my face. I'm like, oh, my face is so soft and smooth. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so um, she was she was sold. I tried to explain to her. She's like, you don't need to explain to me. I'll take it. I was like, OK, great. So the eye buys. Um, so I've gotten a couple of compliments on my skin over the last week since I've been um, since we've been going through the retinization process. Um, and so I'm looking forward to getting back to using some of the other products that I love so much. The charcoal mask and our okay. replenished serum C and um, what else? What else do I like to use? Um just, you know, the microdermabrasion. Oh, yeah. oh um, and the hydrogel yeah. eye patches. Oh, yeah, the hydrogel eye patches. So we had to put those aside while we are uh, acclimating to the retinol. But once we've gone through the acclimation process, um, we can add those things back in. So looking forward to that. And I know we have a couple of ladies that are on the line that, that are uh, watching tonight that are also have also started um, okay. the retinization with the clinical solution. So I would love it if they would drop... Um, in the comments, what they're using um, as well. But I am ready to go ahead and get, do a drawing here. So give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. One, one, one more again. And we're gonna 
do the wheel of names. <laughs> come up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see who's going to win tonight for our first drawing. All right. Here it goes. And there oh, we go. Okay, Annie. Okay, Miss Annie. Congratulations. Your consultant is going to drop another uh, gift in the mail to you. <laughs> you don't have a whole nice little collection. I know you love joining us every week. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing it too. Shoot. Absolutely. Right. He's like racking up. Racking up. Racking up. Getting ready to say her, her uh, repertoire is getting wider and wider. Yes, and wider. That, is right. <laughs> that is right. And so Deborah says she uses the Time Wise Repair, the cleansing bar, and she's on the third week of the clinical solutions. All right. 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 Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And let's see. Rita says, <laughs> she's <laughs> on a roll. She sure has. I tell you, you know, it's right. all random. So basically, you, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta beat Miss Ann to the comments. You gotta get in the mm -hmm. comments for Miss Ann. That's how you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So you. So now let's talk about um, foundation. You know what we're gonna put on our face. So we talked about our skincare mm -hmm. and what we've been using for our skin. Now, what do you use? Um, for your foundation to create that smooth palette, that even toned palette to go ahead and then start applying. Uh, uh, well, um, I'm not a foundation girl. I'm usually like an everyday off the day type of girl. But when I do want a polished finish look, I use the CC cream and I use it in uh, deep and medium to deep. I mix those two together to give mm -hmm. me my the the what complements my skin the best so that is right nice. great and i do the same i use the cc cream that's not my daily go-to but that's my quick dash out the door type of a thing okay. i'm a regular foundation wearer but i also do mix the two together the cc cream comes in five shades and it is um what we call the, you know, it's a color corrector that's what the cc stands for and mm -hmm. so it is meant to um blend in uh with various uh, shades and undertones. Um, so as it warms up to your skin, the light diffusing uh, components of the product blend in with your skin tone. So although Tashana and I are, are I would say we're not the same complexion. We're just not, but we mm -hmm. both blend these two colors together to get our perfect match. So that's mm -hmm. the CC cream. And then I am going, I normally am a cream to powder wearer um, because I'm oily. You see, y'all see, this came out of my bath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally a cream to powder wear. I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to use the liquid. To, I don't know. Maybe I will. I keep. I, I brought it all down. I was like, which one am I going to put on? I'm not sure. Do I want to use the Time Wise um, 3D foundation? Um, when I wear Time Wise 3D foundation, I use W120. And when I use cream to powder, I use beige six um, with a damp sponge. And my span sponge is already damp. Which one should I do, Tashana, today? What do you think? Which one? Uh, go with the liquid one. Could you usually use the cream to powder one? Okay. So go All that. right. All right. Go with the liquid. I shall do that then. And are you applying CC cream today? Yes, I am. I bought it. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going gonna, gonna to do a face. I got to do a face. That's right. I'm we gonna... said we're going to do a face. So let's <laughs> go. Um, the TimeWise 3D has a um, complex that has age fighting properties in it. And um, I am also using our um, foundation blending brush. It's very dense and um, it allows the color to go on really smoothly, quickly, evenly. And again, the color that I'm wearing is um, W120. And so I just use about that much, about two, when I use this, about two applications of this and rub that on. Uh, 
What are you applying your color with? Huh. I a should spray? have actual. I should have an actual uh, brush, brush or the uh, blending thing. But I have this little. It's just the same. A little makeup sponge, sponge yeah. blender thing, but it's not. Uh, and that's okay. Those are great to use too. I'm working my. I'm working. I'm working in my makeup palette. I don't really go to this as an everyday routine. So. <laughs> When I put it on, I'm like, oh, the little doohickey thing to do because I don't, <laughs> I don't do it that well, I put it on my jawline. And um, there you go. So there's the there's my color. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead on to the next step because I know she's not going to do this. And that is contour. Contour. <laughs> yes. We have amazing contour sticks. They come in three colors. We also have contour powder. So you could contour with the contour sticks or you could um, use the powder. And I will say that before I um, applied the foundation, I used a uh, foundation primer. Always okay. foundation primer. It has sunscreen in it and it helps to, you know, uh, create that barrier um, that your skin needs to um, apply the color evenly. I'm looking for the thing with the. Okay, come on, Tracy. Scroll on down. Scroll on down. CC Cream and Foundation. There you go. So in case you were wondering how much those cost, there you go. The price is right there. And um, then our highlighting and contouring. So um, this is our uh, shade one, Sculpt One. This is Sculpt Two. And then this is our Rose Gold highlighter now this highlighter not so great for my complexion and this one is a little on the light side um, because i'm trying to give a good um a good look today um i'm going to use the darker one to blend with and this is how i'm contouring so right above my eyes and then down the sides of my nose here. Hmm. Oh my okay. God. I was doing good, but I, I need a mirror now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay. All right. And so what this is going to do is it's going to bring my, um, bring my, uh, Contour adds some depth to my face. So I blend the ones on the side up. And I blend down on my jawline. What does that do? That helps to contour this double chin, honey. Yes. <laughs> Contours that double chin. And then this brings my forehead in some. Some people like to uh, do like all around the side, depending on, you know, the shape of your face. Right. And then this is the side of my nose. To help narrow the nose there. See that? I mean, that's mm. bright, dark right now, but. I think I'm going to give me a contour stick and play around with that. Look. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. See how that added that definition mm -hmm. there on my cheek? I have a blend, blended very well down here. Mm -hmm. Ta -da! Giving a little definition to the face. And then I follow that up with my um, powder, uh, mineral powder in... Um, what color do I use? Where's my mineral paint? Here it is. Um, this is beige two. And that helps to set as well as soften the lines of the contour. contour. Mm -hmm. mm. Shauna's like, hmm, okay, I'm learning. <laughs> something so there you go mm -hmm. how does that look yes yeah 
Yes. All right. So you've got your um, natural look going and I've got a little more defined look. And now we are ready to go ahead and move forward with whatever you'd like. I'm going to work on my eyebrows a little bit. Uh, well, I will say this, that I'm not an eyebrow girl. However, uh -huh. my eyebrows have a little, uh, shall we say, cosmetic work done to them. I had them microbladed. You. But they, it was been about a year ago. But even before I did that, I had eyebrows, but I guess the microblading gave it a little bit more definition yep. and filled yeah. it in. I've been considering that. I mean, I, I, I like a real natural looking brow. Mm -hmm. um, and my brows are fairly thin. So I usually don't make them too much thicker than what they already are. Um, I will pencil in a little bit and a little above the line. But right. not too much. Right. right. Um, but we have, you know, brow pencils. Mm -hmm. These precision pencils give you a nice, strong, defined line. And then we've got brow tint mm -hmm. that you can use to fill in if your brows are um, sparse. sparse. Or they, yeah. Yes, very sparse if they're sparse. But I envy those folks that have microbladed brows or who <laughs> have one. Um, I do, I do. Well, I well, like I said, I was never really an eyebrow girl, but my mother insisted. She was like, "No, it frames your face. You need to get them it done." Does. Very oh, good. Yes. Okay. Brows so, do. So frame now everybody is in me. Everybody's looking at my eyebrows. I'm like, girl, yeah, I want your eyebrows. I'm like, oh well. <laughs> definitely frame the face. That is so true, and that and that is what you want. So I'm using a brush. You can use a spoolie. We do have. Um, our brushes and spoolies range from 10 to 16 for individual. Mm -hmm. And then your brush collection, you can get for 55. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I would do is I would take my highlight, my mascara, not my mascara, my concealer. And I would line these out a little only because I haven't had my brows done since we've been in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. I so I've been. I've been using a little razor to, but like I said, they're, my bra my brows are fairly thin, so I don't get a lot of extra excess hair growing. Right. But when I came down and I looked and I said, oh, I could have stood to, did a little touch up. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little touch up here. Right. Um, I learned that last night too. You learned what, from Katrina? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> One of my friends, she dad was in makeup and she's, oh, well, yeah, I want to put her business out there. No worries. But she was, uh -huh. we were doing brows last night and she was doing exactly what she was doing today. So I know that if whenever I need a chance to, whenever I get to doing that part, I, <laughs> I know now I'm, I'm going to grab a crease brush and I'm just going to fill in a little bit here. And I also think that doing the contour on your eye, on your eyebrows, it helps your uh, uh, eyeshadow kind of like pop a little bit more like it gives it an extra base besides just having the eye primer on your absolutely on your you are so true that is so true so there we go so you can use concealer is great for cleaning up um you know for concealing i mean that's what it's for right to so if you have some stray hairs or if you have something that you need to just um define uh, whether it be around the lip area. Uh, we talked about that last week. Define the lip area. Um, you can do that with concealer. And I chose a color that was close to my skin tone. I don't want that what they call halo thing going. <laughs> um, and there you go. So it gives a little bit of definition and cleans it up some. Ta-da! I'm having a little problem with um, a watery eye tonight. My eye is watering. It just keeps watering. And I don't know why, but there you go. So I did a little bit of that. And now we're ready to go on to our eyes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So tell us again what colors you're going to be using. I'm going to be using uh, for a second. one of these is the base. Oh, I know what it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate when these things pop out the little container. Uh, candlelight for my base, uh, dusty rose in the crease, frozen iris on my uh, next to my lash line, and mm -hmm. uh, 
crystalline on my near my brow and in the corner to highlight. Okay. So Sharice asked me which brush I was using. I actually was using a crease brush. So this is a, no, I'm sorry, a cream color brush. This is the cream eyeshadow brush. So if you were using um, eyeshadow that was in like a pot, um, you could use this. Um, I also sometimes use this brush for contouring if I'm using the powder contour. Um, and then I was using our um, eyebrow brush when I when I did the eyebrow. So I used these two brushes. Thanks for asking, Cherise. Okay. And I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, what I say this color was? Pink Starlight. And so this is a, I could uh, use a use this to put that color on, but I'm going to go ahead and use a cream <laughs> eyeshadow brush to go ahead and put the color on with. And um, so when you're using colors, depending on what you're going for, you know, would determine the intensity of the color that you're using. And so I'm going to put this all over my lid. Hmm. Covering up that um, concealer. Making sure I'm evening out the color. And so when you're applying your color, you can use your nose as a good gauge on where your color should end. So your brows and your eyeshadow should end in the same place and it should be um, in line with laying the brush against your nose. All right, so same thing on this side and same thing on the inner part of the, of the, um, of the nose as well. I love this color. I need to play with this color a little more often. So if you're a person that wants a look but you don't want to deal with a lot of of eyeshadows, you could just deal with this one color or deal with one color, you know? Um, if you're a beginner, start with one. Start with one, wear that for a little while until you become comfortable with um, using color. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like you have to jump in and do everything all at once. There we go. I applied the single color, the one color. And this is, again, it's the pink starlight. This is pretty. I like this. Pink starlight. Always good to have brush cleaner. And, um, to, you got, you should clean your brushes daily, actually. Um, you can use a, the Mary Kay cleansing bar. You can use um, your actual cleanser to rinse them off. Um, and then you can follow that up with brush cleaner to ensure that you are um, getting all the color off because bacteria can grow on those brushes, right? And so you want to be sure that you are keeping your brushes clean. All right. So now I'm going to go to a smudger brush. Now this smudger okay. brush takes, That's uses dense color. So it allows the color to you to kind of pack the color in um, that you're going to use. And again, I am using this rose gold and I'm just going to pack that color on top of the starlight. All right. And that's what I'm going with. The crease brush next because I'm getting ready. Oh, actually that's not a crease brush. I saw you, um, something you were doing earlier this week, and your makeup was slamming, girl. What oh, are you doing? look, I'm like, oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Well, thank you. I've been, try I've been trying to play around with some things a little bit, a little bit here and there. So I applied my uh, base, which was the uh, candlelight, and now mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to go into my crease with the dusty rose. Nice. And I am going in on the line, the lash line, just a little um, with the um, with the mauve that I used, and then I'm going to go into the crease with the crease brush, 
with um, I'm going to use do I want to use cinnabar? Do I want to use mahogany? I'm going to start with the cinnabar. And depending on how that looks, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. So now you should know, you have to know where your crease is. So your crease is not necessarily that fold. It is that spot where your eye socket is. That is your crease. And that is where you want to be sure that you are applying your color. So don't be deceived by the fold of your skin. Um, you know, we all have, some people have hooded eyes. And um, depending on the shape of your eye, which I can do a whole little tutorial on where to apply color based on the shape of your eye. Absolutely. <laughs> but my eyes are pretty standard. And so you can see I added that color. And now this is probably something that I I would, these two colors together, this lighter, um, if I were, you know, trying to just give a little oomph, a little, a little lift to what I would do normally on a daily basis, I'm going to go ahead and go over this with a little darker shade now so that you can see a little more depth on what I'm doing. So that was mahogany. I'm going to go ahead and use the Merlot because it's, it's a purple, but it's a little deeper color. And the thing with color is you just have to play with it and you, you can always tone it down. So don't be afraid to put it on. You got to put it on. You got to blend it. You blending is your friend. Blend. Mm -hmm. You and must blend true. it. Okay. And so you can blend in circular motions. So, and the more you do it, the more comfortable you will become with it. There we go. So I just darkened that up just a little. All right. And, and so that was a uh, cinnabar and a little with a little bit of Merlot on top of that. And then I'm going to go with um, the espresso with a different crease brush. <laughs> I use a different brush because I, I don't want to, um, I mean, it's okay to mix the colors. I, I, I just like using a different brush for my accent colors, my darker colors on the side. Right. And so I'm going in a little bit halfway and I'm going in on the lash line. So I'm making like a little sideways V. You see that? A little sideways V. So I have applied the candlelight and then the dusty rose in my crease. And now I'm getting ready to go to my lid area and fill it in with the frozen iris. Okay. Now, if I wanted to make this more of a, a neutral eye palette, I could have uh, used the biscotti or the candlelight um, as a base rather than that soft pink. And I am just blending in the darker color in the crease there so you can see now that would be kind of an everyday now i'm gonna darken that up i'm gonna go ahead and do the onyx onyx is a good go-to whenever you want to add a little drama it's a black but you can tone it down you just got to work with it a little be willing to work with it now if you're somebody that is on the lighter spectrum Shade wise, ivory or light beige, I wouldn't recommend the black. I definitely would not. I would stick with the hot fudge or the espresso. Um, there you go. Rita said. I noticed that you applied color on the bottom of your eyes. What does that do? So I took the light color and applied it on the inner inner um, waterline. It helps to open the eyes up. It just adds a little drama, a little, 
little oomph. It's just like, you know, like when you comb your hair and rather than combing it back, you take that baby hair and you press it down here and you make a little poop. That's just what that is. It's just a little something extra. That's all. <laughs> Was that a good analogy? You take that yes, baby hair? Yes, yes. The baby hair too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I've done the frozen iris on my lash line. Now I'm going to go in with the highlighter, which is the crystalline, and I'm using my, I don't know what this is, I think it's the eye mm. smudger. Mm. Well, yeah, eye smudger but, but because of the, the tip, it kind of gives me a good angle so I can put it on my brow area and like right in this little corner here. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to take um, a little bit of translucent powder, um, or I could go back to my regular uh, powder that I was using to just kind of clean up the area here on the side. I'm using the tip of my sponge to clean up any excess color that may have fallen on my face. It's just, just a little wipe. You could use a cotton ball. You could use a towel, a napkin, whatever. But I'm just trying to be a little professional here. That's all. <laughs> Just, uh -huh. just a little I bit about that when I started. I said, Oh, I don't have nothing to be a little bit professional with the cleanup with, but I'm gonna just, <laughs> I got to take a towel over here, so that's where I that's got okay. That's okay. And now I'm going to just uh take a cheek brush and I'm going to add just a little color. I like a little cheek color. Some people, you know, not, not really into cheek color anymore. It used to be something that people um used to wear a lot of. But I'm going to go ahead and take, um, we learned something from a makeup artist who basically said to take and make a swipe across all of our lower colors here and use that as a good palette for blending in the cheek area. So that's just what I'm going to do now. Okay. And then there are my... Uh, so I'm going to add a little cheek color as well. Oh, I like that. So that was um, Wineberry, Golden Copper, Desert Rose, Hot Coral, and Juicy Peach. And I just ran it across both ways and then just blended that in. So it kind of gave it a peachy, kind of a rosy kind of a look. So not a lot, just a, just a little bit, just a little something. And, and I'm going to add some darling pink to my cheeks. Nice. Now I'm going to go to my eyelids. My eye. I'm, I like liquid eyeliner, but I also like to use our regular eye pencil. Um, because my skin is oily, I like the liquid on the top. But I like the, um, the regular pencil on the bottom. We also have a gel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the bottom and I like the fact that it's soft. It just goes right on. It doesn't take a lot, All right? So just one swell swipe. And then if you are a lady, a more mature woman, you know, as we mature, our eyelids droop, begin to droop. You can go under your waterline on your upper lid to help open the eye up some. And so that's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Just to open the eye up a little. I'm going to use our waterproof eyeliner pencil for my eyeliner. I am too. And then I go across the top with the liquid eyeliner. And this too just takes practice. So don't be afraid to give it a try. If you mess up, you just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that simple. You mess up, you take it off. All right, so that it would be my regular normal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little more lift. Uh, on the outer portion to open up the eye a little more because I'm also trying to give you guys a a little look lift for a more of a dramatic eye. 
we go. And then there is the lash primer and the mascara. Now, lash primer primes the lashes for color, right? So it helps to lengthen the color, helps the color to the mascara color, I mean, stick more, th thickens the lashes. Um, and you can apply that. Um, again, my eyes are still watering. Uh, and the key to getting those long looking lashes without the falsies is layers. Is more than one coat, basically. You don't want to pump. You can wiggle around, pull your wand out. I'm using our Fanorama mascara. It actually has little um, fingers on the tip. I don't know if you can see that there. To catch on the inside or the outside to get the little hairs. And one eye always comes out better than the other, so. And that's okay. You can, <laughs> but if I look, far, look further back away, you can't really tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you can always brush the top. I'm going to be a little fancy tonight. I'm going to try to apply some uh, lashes. Really? Girl, I tell you one up on me because I have not been successful with finding um, a lash that I like. I tried to get some magnetic lashes. Child, I would have wasted my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't ask me. I, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to be an interesting try here, but we're going to go for it. See what happens. Okay. Hopefully, I can get them on and, you know, we'll have Nothing them. Nothing to tell you but a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you're applying your mascara, you want to go two ways. You want to go up this way, but you also want to go up this way, because this way catches the lashes a different, mm. a different okay. way. All right. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go back and apply another coat after I do my lips. Y'all see how this look is coming together? What y'all think? I ain't got no comments out there. What y'all think? All right. Now for lips, I'm going to demonstrate two because I could go with a nice chocolate nude lip with this. I think I'll end with that because you're doing a pink, right? But yeah. I want to show you kind of a, a pink or a berry right now with this. And I'm going to use a uh, the berry lip liner. You know, lip liner always frames the lip. You want to feather it on. And don't cheat yourself. Embrace your voluptuous lips. Get right on the line there. Don't cut it off. It's funny. So many women out there and men try so hard to get a full lip. And those of us that have a full lip don't want to embrace the full lip. <laughs> Right, I agree. My, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I think I have a thin top lip and like a more pronounced bottom lip. So I guess uh -huh. my, I would need to make yeah. my top lip a little fuller than my right. Just do it right on top of or right at the um a little above the the lip line. So that's our berry lip liner, and I am going to be using our what is this? I got them eyes watering again. Okay. This is nude blush. Nude blush. Um, I love our new lip gloss line. Um, they're creamy. And I do too. Some of my favorites are the iconic red uh -huh. and the um, sheer illusion. Uh -huh. And a uh, copper aura. Yes, pretty, pretty. So there you go. There's my soft pinky lip. Now I could have grabbed one of those lipsticks that I mentioned that I showed you earlier, like the trademark pink or powerful pink, but she's going to wear pink. Oh, I like this. I got, I'm about to take a selfie of myself. What y'all think? 
I like it. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. She said, my um, my eyes are definitely showing with the dark contour color. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So it really is just, it's a matter of contrast and finding what works for you. Once you start playing in color, you, you get to know what colors look good on you and you just have your go-tos. Like you don't have to have a lot, but you just need to know what works for you and how you can make it, um, you know, make it more, tone it down for a more natural neutral look or how to buff it up to make it a more dramatic look. Um, so you could get by with six, seven colors, eight maybe at the most to mix and match to give you the color palette that you're looking for. Where's my phone? Cause I'm about to take a selfie. <laughs> All righty. Oh, yeah, Deborah said, "Great work on the eyes. Thank you, Deborah." So you know, I'm learning. This is what this is what you have to do when you when you got your face all made up. Now that we're not doing a whole bunch of stuff, that's when you take the good pictures of yourself so that you can use for um, other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yes. Thank you, Robin. I can't wait to see you play in some colors for yourself, my dear. All right, now I'm gonna change my lip and I'm gonna use our oil-free makeup remover, which y'all know is just simply amazing. Um, Silicone-based product, good, keep, good housekeeping seal of approval. Let me see, let's see, let's see. So I'm changing my lip to make this more of a brown nude look. Okay. Now, try this one more time. And now if I can't get this, you know I'm just going to stop my S-T-O-P and go I'm on. Not. <laughs> Quit. All right. So now I'm going to go with the amazing dark nude lip liner, which I love. I love this dark nude lip liner. It's great. Um, and again, lining the lips, you could do the, you could do a lip liner to line the whole lip, or you could just outline the lip. It's going to help your color last. I'm going to go ahead and line my whole lip. I am going to line my lip. I don't even really know what color this is. Yeah. So oh. D2. I think it's the same color. I lined my whole lip. And I did use my satin lips before I came down this morning. I mean, this evening. And that is a must. That is absolutely a must. Um, you know, once or twice a week, if not every day, if you feel up to it. Now, I could just go with this and put a little lip gloss on. Like that sheer, what'd you call it? That, um, Sheer oh, illusion. Sheer illusion. Mm -hmm. This one. That's this one right here. Look, this 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 is my personal lip gloss collection. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be in the same group. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I love them. So, the sheer illusion would just give this a nice um, iridescent yeah. on top of the color. Then you would you have a beach bronze, which is our regular beach bronze color, kind of a goldy um, browny color. And then this one, the copper aura is a little more brown, but it's got the shimmer in there too. So if you held the two next to each other, this is the beach bronze. This is the copper aura. All right. And then you have this wonderful chocolate. Yes. Chocolate nude is what it's called. And that's the color that I'm going to put on now. And these new wands are very flexible to allow you to get, you know, into the deep crevices with the color. I need to go tell my husband. He need to go take me for a walk or something. Cause I <laughs> just so you can get out the house. Let me see. Yes, I, I can get out of the house. <laughs> okay, that so, might be one, one eye down, but this doesn't. That looks good. 
So, so what did you gonna, use? Mascara, um, magnetic mascara? I mean, mm, magnetic eyeliner or no? No, uh-uh. I got some of this uh, Superflex uh, adhesive glue, and it comes with a little uh, point on the end of it. Okay. And then I lined the lash, and I was. Uh, it helps to make the lash thick if you um, put mascara on before you put your mm -hmm. lash on. Okay. I'm gonna try to do the other side. Try to do this other side. I said I was gonna do one more coat of. Uh, and then I'm gonna clean up my lips, of, uh, and then I'm gonna be ready to go. So no two to three coats of mascara will give me close to probably what she has with her falsies. That's that's just what I tend to do because like I said, I haven't had much luck with uh, uh -oh. with the I'm not exactly sure how much luck I'm having either. It just doesn't look like it looks like my eyelash, so I guess that's a win. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lips. Um, I'm waiting to do this other layer. Hey, Janet. Hey, Janet. So, there we are. I added another coat of mascara. Y'all see how this Fanorama mascara works? I had give these lashes some something. And this dark, this chocolate nude lip gloss with the deep nude lip liner. Time for another selfie. All right. <laughs> Last one. I can't see my collection. Looks like hers. <laughs> Come on, finish that lip so I can get we can get a good look at you. Oh, gotcha. I finished my lip. It's just this last. Oh, okay. Lip. You're trying to get this last. Lash, lash. Lash, um. lash, lash. All right. And I lined my lips with the deep nude, and then I applied the powerful pink on top. Okay, oh, that's cute. Yes, I think I, I think I am blonde ready now. What? You said what? Do I need to call your husband? Tell him he need to take you for a walk too. <laughs> Oh, Rita, I'm not a pro. It's just practice, honey. That's all. I started just like everybody else. Scared to put one color on. <laughs> just practice. I just played with color and uh, watched some tutorials similar to this. And um, Thank you. I am wearing, I know you just joined in, Janet. I'm wearing... Um, Pink Starlight as my base, followed by um, Golden Mauve, and then um, Hazelnut, and uh, Cinnabar, and then a little bit of Hot Fudge and a little bit of Onyx. It's like I took it from one and then take it a little deeper so folks could see that you could uh, play with colors. Thank you. She said, I'm definitely good. The other, the big, big thing is the brushes, honey. Your brushes do most of the work. Your brushes do most of the work, you know? So having a good brush collection, oh, which reminds me because I did bring this over here. Having a good brush collection is important. Got to have the right tools to work with to get the look that you're uh, going for. So Absolutely. Be willing to invest in some good brushes. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. 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 That is a key, a key, a key. And I was always a um, I would mess and my eyes shut. I just rub my finger in it and just rub it on my face. And then when I started using brushes, I was like, whoa, what in yes. the world? Yes, this makes a whoa. it makes it a makes difference. a whole it makes a hundred percent difference with using a brush versus using your finger. Mm hmm. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't want to be like one-eyed Jane, but in a minute, that's where I'm about to go. <laughs> so we are glad that you joined us tonight. We are date night ready. Yes. I'm with my husband because I know he's on the couch sleep. He'd be like, babe, let's just go for a walk. <laughs> let's just go for a walk. <laughs> let's hop in the car. Let's go to McDonald's and get us get a, a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Something. I got right, to get out and show off this beautiful face now. So, 
Yes, so several coats of mascara. Find the one in our collection that works for you. We've got those that add volume. We've got those that add length. We have those with fibers, those that coat the lashes. Get with your consultant so that she can um, help you with that. And uh, don't be afraid to add eye primer, eyelash primer, sorry. Lash primer and, of course, eye primer as well. Um, that helps your color look, helps your color to last as well. Oh, I forgot to do my finishing touch which is finishing spray. That's it, that helps to set the face, set the color. Now I probably wouldn't put that on before I put the lips on, but yes, definitely. Okay, mm. this one eye is not gonna cooperate, but hey, you know what, right now I am not gonna stress over it. Don't stress over it, come on, let's look. If I look, if okay. I, look, I mean. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, actually. It's not at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I feel like this makeup is making this blonde everything for me right about now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming into this blonde right now. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. It's okay. All right. So give us a little pose to Shauna. Yes. Here we are, ladies. I'm wearing the chocolate. She's wearing the pink. And my eyes are a combination of both the pinks and the chocolates, pinks and browns. Hope you had fun tonight. Thanks for joining us tonight. Don't forget to get with your consultant to find out how you can get all these amazing products. And we hope you have a great evening. Yes, we do. Have a Thanks good for one. Joining us. Have a good one. Definitely, thanks for joining us. Why can't I get my volume going? There we go. Let's get the volume going. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a blessed Sunday. Yes. Thank you. Thanks.